The 2017 R2 release of Autodesk Inventor includes even more enhancements based on your feedback from the idea station. Let's take a look. First up are several improvements to the user interface, starting with the model tree. The lines and arrows have been improved to make it a bit easier to navigate and see expanded and collapsed states. There's also now an option to turn off the mini toolbar for many features if you prefer the traditional dialogues. You can also now expand a list of recent commands to undo or redo multiple actions at once. Inside the measure command, the precision of the selection will now persist between sessions, so when you reopen the file, it will be at the same setting as you had previously. And finally, there's a new tangent select option which makes selecting tangent faces and edges a whole lot easier. Next up, we continue to improve AnyCAD to make it more efficient to work with non-native data. There's now a property manager that allows you to customize how properties defined in the non-native file are mapped to Inventor I properties. Just open up the property manager during import or as a standalone application, specify the property names from the original file, and during import these will automatically populate to your I properties. This release introduces a new option to derive parts or components from layouts with the new make component and make part commands. In a layout, just select sketch blocks or surface or solid bodies, and in the right-click contextual menu, you'll see these two new commands. Make part creates a single part with the included geometry, and make components will create an assembly file with components comprised of each of the individual bodies or sketch blocks you select from the layout. There are also a few new enhancements for drawings. Multiple center marks can be aligned to an edge in a single operation. There's now a solid hatch option where you can also specify color, and you can easily sort balloon stacks based on their value. The new presentation environment introduced in Inventor 2017 has also received a few improvements. In the storyboard, multiple actions can be edited at once. You can move them, resize or edit their length, more easily select actions occurring before or after a certain point in the timeline, and align start or end times of selected actions. There's also a new option in the tweak command to use the local coordinate system for moving parts, making it easier to adjust components that don't align to the world coordinate system of the presentation. And finally, there's a new option for publishing images with a transparent background. Again, thank you to everyone who submitted or voted on suggestions in the idea station. We'll continue to prioritize these in our development process and keep making Inventor better than ever.